What up, man? It's your boy, Tweet Tweet here, man. And we back with another video. Yo, shout out to all my big men out there. Yo, today we're going to go over big men uh, shooting tips, if you will. You feel me? When I say big men, I'm talking about a true power forward and a true center. You feel me? Whether you're a, a shooting five or whatever the case may be, but you ain't got all that handles and all that other shit. And... Your three-pointer is like an 81, you feel me? Because that's what I'm sitting on. I'm sitting on an 81 three-point, and I'm sitting on a 70 free throw, you feel me? So that's the shooting tips, you feel me? Uh, that we about to cover what? That's the basis of the shooting tips in which we're about to cover. Now, I would like to say this. Let's start it off with the first one, the very first one that, that's a lifesaver, trust me. Like, I play a lot of rec, right? I haven't played in a while, and in a, in a, ever since season five popped, I haven't played. I think I played one game, but either or, when you first take your first shot, right, you wide open, you feel me? You might have a little bit of jitters because you running solo. Like, I'm really talking to those type of people, but also the people that run with their homies and shit like that. When you take your first shot, right and it all it, i think it all depends on who's the host you feel me like who's really hosting that I, i'm not sure but you you press an x the majority of us like nine over 90 percent of us use x to shoot right we use x to shoot you take the shot and you've been shooting you've been using the same jump shot the entire time and you take your shot and you break that bitch you feel me you like what the hell now your man's hit you again and you miss that shot too he hit you again and you miss that shot too i'm gonna tell you what you do bro in that instance what you need to do, you need to shoot with the right stick, bro. You feel me? Spot up, right stick. You feel me? That might be the best advice I can offer you guys uh, in this video. You feel me? It comes in the clutch. Now, once you knock down that first shot, depending on how your badges is set up, your next shot, you'll you'll get used to the latency or whatever is going on within that rec game, and then you'll be able to shoot with X. You feel me? Just 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 time it with the right stick. You feel me? I'm pretty sure we've all tried to shoot with the right stick. I used to shoot with the right stick back in the day, like a, a long time ago. You feel me? Like 2K16 days and shit. You know, but when they implement it, you get like a little more boost with it. You feel me? And it seems like you got more control uh, uh, in NBA 2K23 when shooting with the actual uh shot stick right seems like you have a little bit more control so that's my one of the uh top pointers in which i want to give you guys like especially as a big man you spotting up right you miss like your first two shots first three shots if you're playing solo you probably didn't miss your first shot and it's probably gonna be a while before they give you the rock you feel me but your next shot bro spot up and just push the right stick up you feel me and you'll be able to time it like if you've been playing 2k this long you should be able to time it with the right stick you feel me and nine times out of ten your shot is going to go in you get what i'm saying like it's just it's like a reset button use the right stick and then go into the next jump shot with your x and then try to you know what i mean try to, uh, uh, to make the shot you feel me like that's what we about to get into first and foremost you guys Besides that, I believe that's the best point that I can give you guys. Only take open shots. You feel me? Like, it's too many times I'm playing, and it's not even just a big man thing. You feel me? But we're big, so our three-pointer is probably lower. You feel me? But always take open shots. Don't try to force it. Uh, don't try to force the jump shot just because you haven't got a shot up. You feel me? Everybody's uh, uh, ball hauling in. They're not really hitting you. They're not hitting you down low. They're not hitting you for the mid. They're not hitting you in the post. They're not hitting you at the three. They're not hitting you at the corner. Do not force bad shots y'all know how many games i done played and i done had like zero shot attempts because my point guard or whoever the guards are on my team they haven't found me on the cut or they haven't found me on the post up or they haven't found me on the corner on the spot up type shit you feel me too, too many games you feel me but all my other stats equated to an a plus you get what i'm saying but uh all of that under the notion because i'm not going to take a bad shot you feel me like that's that's the number one rule of being a great shooter like not just in 2k like in life you feel me you have to take great shots you feel me like open shots you understand what i'm saying contest <clears throat> contest on a low three-pointer like i just want to know how that work you feel me like if they contesting you and i have an 81 like i remember mike wayne saying when the game first came out like you got to have a higher uh 80 three-pointer or higher i think we get higher 83 point in order to really hit in succession like you want to like to hit consistency you get what i'm saying consistent right I have an 81, right? And the shots that I do take, I do, y'all gonna be seeing clips throughout the videos. I do be making mid ranges and threes, right? I hit my shots because I take smart shots. You get what I'm saying? You take smart shots, open shots. Do not take a contested shot, bro. If you sitting at a 75 three point, why are you, what are you doing? 
You get what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not, I'm not saying that in a in an angry way. I'm just saying, like, use your logic. You understand what I'm saying? This video right here is really gonna help your IQ if you are a big man out there and you really don't know too much about shooting, but you added shooting to your game because your teammates need it, your homies need that, or is evolving and, and you as a random, you gotta be able to do the post-ups, the dunks, the 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 open threes, the you know what I mean, like etc. You get what I'm saying? Next up, you guys, you wanna practice your jump shot. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's one of the biggest things that I think a lot of people do not do you might see a jump shot on YouTube and then you might equip it and then you might go play with it and, and now you missing shots because you don't know the timing here's the thing like if I was to ever drop a video and telling you guys oh this is the best jump shot right here or this is the best three jump shots or whatever the case may be because I think I've done it in the past as far as check these jump shots out not necessarily the best but check them out right because everybody doesn't shoot the same I'm one of those people I love my button layout to be on very late right we'll get into that in the future of the video uh, you may shoot on, uh, what is it, early? You may shoot on early, bro. You feel me? I shoot off of very late. That's just how I've been shooting my entire 2K career. I, I like to press the button. I like to feel the realism in me taking my shot. Now, I know a lot of people talk about cues. Yes, that comes naturally. You'll be able to see the cues and you can turn your jump shot meter off. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about actually practicing your jump shot. So that means... You have to go play some my career. That means go into your my court on current gen, right? On next gen, there's no my court. I have no reason, I have no clue why there's no uh, my court, but you can go to all the private parts, you guys, like uh, the Moss Point, uh, 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 the Uncle Bobby court, you feel me? Uh, what's the other ones? Um, the J. Cole court. You can go to these courts, bro, and you can literally practice your jump shoot and practice your jump shot. Now, it's gonna be a, a, a slight delay and a slight difference once you get online, like in rec and things like that, of that nature, but you will understand your cue. If you get what I'm saying, you'll understand it. So, oh shit, I'm in rec. This lobby is a little laggier, so now I gotta hold it a little bit longer. You get what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta set your feet a little bit quicker type shit. You get what I'm saying? So, practice your jump shot, bro. Too many times, I know y'all, not even y'all that's watching, but a lot of people would, would uh, uh, let's just say Kool-Aid man, drop a video and be like, yo, this is the best jump shot. You take that, you take it for what it is, and you go equip that jump shot, and then you get into a game, and you never practice that jump shot, and now you bricking every motherfucking shot. Now you come back to that man video, and you say, yo, this jump shot is ads, but you never fucking practice it. You never went to my court, you never played my career games, practicing it with whatever shot meter you're using, or without a shot meter, like, bro, you never practice that shot. So why are you coming back to that man video saying whatever or whatever the case may be? That's just a prime example of what I'm saying. You have to practice your jump shot, bro. Like 2K has advanced to that point that you have to know your jump shot, right? And this year, I can say, it seems like they got a little better with allowing us to use different jump shots. You feel me? They need to bring it back to what it used to be where big men can get any base that a guard can get. I don't understand why they changed it. Like, and then LaMarcus Aldridge, we can't even, I can't get the Lamarcus Aldridge base, but yet a guard can. Like, how does that work? Next up, you guys, use boost. You wanna use boost, like check me out, bro. Check me out, bro. I don't know how many I got on uh, current gym, but check me out, bro. Look at my boost. Like, use boost. Go to my health. Right, there we go, boom. Boom, look at it, look at this shit. Look at, look at the jump shot boost. I have 97 jump shot boost, kid. You feel me, kid? Like, there's no shame in use. I don't give a fuck what no other YouTuber tell you, bro. Like, back in 2K16, I believe it was, like, yo, we was not able to get 99 overall. We was able to get 95 overall, right? Which, the overall spectrum, I think that was probably the more realistic uh, uh, 2K in which we've had. I think it was 16. It was either 16 or 17. You're not a 99 overall. So, your three-pointer, let's just say you have an 81 three-pointer like myself. That's not really a true 81 three-pointer. If you get my... If you get what I'm, you get the gist of what I'm saying. At an 81 three pointer, and it, back in the day, it used to be a plus five. So the jump shot boost will give you a plus five on whatever attribute, right? I believe now, I believe like a couple of years ago, they degraded it, excuse me, they decreased it down to like plus four. So now I have an 81 three ball, just naturally. And now I add plus four, I have an 85. You get what I'm saying? So you wanna buy jump shot boost, you guys, and any other boost that you think you may need. You get what I'm saying? But jump shot boost, they do help. I don't give a fuck what nobody else tell you. Like, nah, that's trash. Da, 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 da. Yo, they're using boost. Believe it or not, they'll tell you not to use boost just so they can run into you, and then you missing every goddamn shot, but they making some stupid, crazy ass circus type shot. You get what I'm saying? Because they're using jump shot boost. They're using boost. That's what it's in the game for. You understand what I'm saying? Boost 
and Gatorade Boost completes your my player. You understand what I'm saying? You still like an 80 overall, like in the grand scheme of things, but it does complete your overall. You feel me? You may think you're a 99, but you're rocking no boost. So you go up against another 99 in a 1v1 situation, y'all the same exact bill. He gonna bust your ass because he got a one skill boost. You understand what I'm saying? Unless he's totally garbage, garbage. You feel me? So. Take heed to what I'm saying, you guys. Uh, invest in boots. You feel me? Like, y'all see, I got, I, I stay dripped up. I, my dudes stay looking good, but I always make sure I have boots. Like, and if, anytime you see events that, uh, like, little bullshit events, especially on current gym, like the Elian one, I forget what the name of it was. Um, I forget the name of it, man. <clears throat> I forget the name of the event, but it would give you boost. Take advantage of that. You feel me? Take advantage of those skill boosts uh, that you can get awarded for doing absolutely nothing. Like serving greens, you may get jump shot boost for serving greens that event. Like, bro, play that event and get like three greens in two games or one game or whatever the case may be. So you can get those five boosts or whatever boosts they give you if they give you boosts. You get what I'm saying? So take heed to that, you guys. You want the jump shot boost, all right? Next up, most importantly, like why you bullshitting, you heard? I, I know a lot of people fuck up in this area right here. You want to equip the correct badges that fit your needs, your needs. Hear me, hear me when I say this. The badges that fit your needs. I have an 81 three ball, right? The badges that fit your need, not the point guard or shooting guard that you think you are. You get what I'm saying? You think you Steph Curry, but you sitting at a 71 three ball. You understand what I'm saying? Do not, you can't, no, no. You have to be what you are. You have a 73, a 70, three ball so you have to put the badges on that will help you with that 73 ball in this case it would be like a corner specialist it would be like a, a, a catch and shoot situation you feel me we're about to get into it. i'm gonna show you guys the badges that i have right i'm an 81 three ball right peak the shooting badges that i have on and they do not change they rarely change i have catch and shoot on bronze right i know a lot of people i think i've seen a thumbnail where people was like catch and shoot don't work or it's not worth it i need that you understand because i'm a solo player so my first shot my second shot whatever the case may be that may dictate the way the game the result of the game like yo we're not gonna pass him no more he missed his first wide open shot type shit right goes back to my original point like no i'm gonna have catch and shoot on you get me every little bit helps i have an 81 three ball that's probably the lowest uh, with me putting my three ball up, that's probably the lowest I've ever had as a three ball. Usually I run shooting guard, pure sharpshooter, 95, because you got you, we got the plus four back back then, so it was like a 99 three point. You feel me? I didn't give a damn about no handles because I was a pure sharp. So anytime you need me to hit that shot, I was going to hit that shot. You get me? But this year I'm at 81 three ball, so I need that catch and shoot. Like, hey, you can copy my badges. Y'all see them? Green Machine. This year has been the first year in which I really utilized Green Machine, right? I have it on silver. Put it as high as you, as you can get it, right? Uh, Mini Magician. I have Mini Magician because I do uh, 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 like post phase, not post phase. What is it? It's post phase, but what's the other one? Uh, hop shots, right? Uh, 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 post hop shots, you know what I mean? Post hop shots, like the, the shot created shots. That's what I use that Mini Magician for, but use it, right? Because it said Boost of Fetting is a Pull up, spin shots, and fadeaways from mid range area. You feel me? So if you you running up court and is a is a fast break, and your man was going up for a layup, but he know his man is on him, he hit you and he hit you. Excuse me. You can go. You in transition, so you can go ahead and pull up with a quick mid with that mid range shot. You feel me? Now this isn't just for three ball. This is shooting tips in general, all right? Also, I have Claymore. Claymore increases the ability to knock down perimeter shots when spotting up patiently. And the way I heard this badge work, the longer you wait the more potent that shot will be. You feel me? So imagine you waiting in a corner and your point guard is on the left side, you on the right side, and then he hit you because your man drift off of you for whatever fucking reason, you feel me? You wide open and you got Claymore. There's no reason why you should miss that shot at all. You get what I'm saying? So Claymore is definitely uh, beneficial. I don't have corner specialists on because that is one of those badges where it's like, uh, if I could afford it, I would put it on, but I don't necessarily need it. The corner is the is the shortest distance for a three ball in the NBA game, you feel me? In, in, in 2K, et cetera, you feel me? So corner specialist, yes, that's an honorable mention. A guard up, I have guard up on because of my fees and my post scoring and all that like that right but increase the ability to make jump shots when defenders fail to properly contest all right and i should have went over to next gen too so i can show you my bad setup over there as well because i believe i do have guard up over there but if i don't have guard up on i always have on blinders you feel me but that'll help big men as well with the phase and things like that jump shots taken with a defender closing out in their peripheral vision right over here in their peripheral vision will suffer a lower penalty so you do want that on and then last but not least i have on space period because I am a post-score. Now, Dead Eye hasn't worked for me in years. 
in years. It's probably been about five years, bro. We talking about 2K18. It, it hasn't worked for me in years. Uh, cut shooter, that depends on if you running with your homies and you haven't took a jump shot all game, but your teammates, they, your boys, they know you have on cut shooter on like uh, silver or gold. Like, yeah, that can really come in clutch for you guys. But uh, looking through, oh, when I'm running rack slippery off ball, I definitely will have that on, on at least silver. You get what I'm saying? Because you can get open uh, more quicker. I, I don't know how that works. I guess it's the graphics in the game or uh, uh, the physics. You feel me? like you can get open uh quicker from your man or whatever the case may be but it is a good badge but those are the main badges bro there's no reason why i should have agent three on and i actually had it on one game that's the game i told you guys back in a, in a, in a video a while ago and i tried to hit those crazy uh shot creator shots and niggas start quitting on me i'm like yo i was just i was just i wasn't trolling i was just seeing if my man can do it with an 81 three ball you feel me but i'm not gonna put that on bro catch and shoot bro green machine mini magician volume shooter i skipped all over that you need to put volume shoot on i don't give a damn if you got it on bronze put it on you feel me it does help in the long run you feel me uh amped uh, if you if you're tired if you're taking a lot of jump shots of course but claymore uh guard up slippery off ball corner specialist honorable mention blinders and space creator you feel me that that depends on what you're taking as far as the space creator you should not have limitless range on if you have an 81 or less well excuse me if you have an 84 or less three ball you feel me like 85 that's where uh mike wayne or Mike Wong or Baluba, whatever his name is. That's what he said is the consistency for hitting your three ball. So you shouldn't have um, limitless range on. You shouldn't have agent three on if you are a big man, all right? Next up, you guys, because I'm getting down to the, like the last two. You feel me? Last three, right? Well, last two, right? Because I already went over the, the last one. I said that first, right? Drop a like, drop a comment if you're fucking with it. You feel me? Next up, you guys, you want to know what your disadvantages are this is probably the realest shit you gonna hear as, as far as 2k shooting is involved on youtube you feel me i touched up on it years ago you feel me but this is probably the realest shit that you're gonna listen to me know what your disadvantages are what do you mean by that twin i mean myself like listen i play on television i have a monitor right here right i pay like a hundred dollars for it it's not a gaming monitor like it's kids out here and when I say kids, I'm talking full grown adults and kids. They uh, they have paid 2,000 plus, 5,000 plus for a gaming monitor. You understand what I'm saying? So their reaction time is gonna be way quicker than yours. You understand what I'm saying? So understand your disadvantages. If you're playing on television, you need to be using uh, the badge setup. You need to be using the uh, shot time and releasing all that. You need to be using all of that according to your TV setup because it has latency when you play on television. And I didn't mention the controller. Like if you have a wired controller, you, you'll have uh, uh, easier time shooting than if you have a wired controller. You feel me? I use wired, you get what I'm saying? But I do know if I have it wired, is an easier uh you can you can shoot better it's, it's a little less latency if you will like with the button input you get what i'm saying so take heed to that again i said no your disadvantages bro ethernet versus wireless that means you're either wired to your modem and or your router or you're wireless like your cell phone you connect into the internet via wireless if you are wireless bro you just have to deal with what you got going on. You understand what I'm saying? I would say <clears throat> try to make sure everybody in your house is not screaming. Uh, and when I say screaming, I'm talking live screaming. I'm talking Hulu screaming. I'm talking Netflix screaming because Netflix is a motherfucker. You feel me? I'm talking about all of the above. You feel me? Uh, make sure they're not uploading no YouTube video or doing whatever the case may be because you are wireless. You are using your console. My brother uh, had his console and he's been wireless for so long. We finally got him his own modem. He's he loving it. You heard? He, I wish I could get him in the video and ask him, yo, how you feel about the Xbox? Like, I mean, your gaming experience when you was wireless compared to when you're wired. You understand what I'm saying? It's that much of a difference. Now, I understand a lot of people can't because like my brother back in the day, his modem was like way across here. His gaming setup was like here. You feel me? What is he going to do? You get me? He can't just move the whole cause uh certain houses and certain uh apartments, your 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 um your jack, your telephone jack or wherever your coaxial cable is not plugged, it's plugged in here. They will have to move it over here. You will have to call somebody out to come do the you get me like you not about to do all that. If you're a real one, like you yeah, ain't about to do just like me. I'm not about to buy no fucking gaming monitor when I don't game on PC. You feel me? Fuck that. I don't care enough. I don't care enough for that. You get what I'm saying? But understand your advantages and your disadvantages. You understand? You're playing on television. So the point guard, if he got a gaming monitor, he's probably going to hit all his shots, bro. He's probably going to be better at Call of Duty than you are. Better at Fortnite. Better at Warzone. He's going to be better at these games because he has no delay. 
delay. He has minimal delay depending on how much he spent on that monitor. You get what I'm saying? So understand that and the same thing goes for internet. I, I, I dropped a video years ago and I was open NAT or I said never play on script NAT. It was an ass of dislikes on that video, bro. All I was doing was letting you motherfuckers know when you gaming online, you need to open NAT, bro. Cause you, when you have a script NAT, you gonna be playing against open NAT, and they are gonna be fucking you up. Let me, let me calm down, y'all heard? Because it's crazy how you sheep work. If you can, please play a wired Ethernet. That means it's a, a is a uh, Ethernet cord. It's a like a telephone jack. You feel me? It's a little thicker. Plug that into your router. Plug it into your Xbox or plug it into your PlayStation or plug it into whatever. You feel me? You will thank me later. It's the same thing like being on a desktop computer or whatever the Apple version is. When you're wireless, you get a lot of lagging and shit. Like when you're watching YouTube or whatever the case may be. If you're wired, you ain't got to worry about none of that. You understand what I'm saying? So understand your disadvantages, especially when it comes to Ethernet and wireless uh, setups, right? Lastly, you guys, different jump shot from the meta. You understand what I'm saying? So what I mean by that is your disadvantage is you're not, you're not using this. I don't know what's the popular jump shot, but you're not using the same jump shot that everybody else is using. You feel me? So don't expect to hit the jump shots the way that they are hitting. You know you have a 75 three-point ball. And you know, let's just say, you know O'Shea Brissett is your base. And you know Marquise, uh, uh, Marcus Chris is your release. And you know Marcus Aldridge is another release. Or uh, Joker, uh, excuse me, the Joker, his release is another release, right? So you got Joker and you got uh, Marcus Chris. So you got Joker and you got Marcus Aldridge. Low-key, I'm telling you the jump shot, right? You have that. You're not, don't try to compare your, your jump shot to somebody that got uh, a, a jump shot that's been uh, cheesy since like 2K21 type shit. You feel, well, excuse me, 2K19, 2K18 or whatever the case, because we don't have those same bases. We don't have those same release you, releases. You get what I'm saying? So understand, you may not have the meta jump shot, the jump shot that everybody uses. You may not have that jump shot. So understand, and you don't have the attribute to support it. These dudes is running around with high 90s three pointers. Like, how can you compete with that? You don't have the same animations. You don't have the same attribute. So you probably not gonna have the same jump shot. You understand what I'm saying? So you don't have the meta jump shot. So understand that that's a disadvantage to you. You can't have that jump shot because of the way 2K set it up. So the jump shots that you can have, bro, go practice that. Use everything I told you, go practice that. So now you can be lethal with that motherfucker. Now you get to somebody, they like, yo, this jump shot ass. No, it ain't. How the fuck you be hitting so much with this? Because I practice this shit, dummy. I'm true to this. I ain't new to this. You heard? Lastly, you guys, shot timing and release. You feel me now? <clears throat> I want to get into this, but I don't want to. Look at this shit. Look at look at 2K. Look at this shit. I'm just sitting here chilling. How I get disconnected? Like, bro, this shit is trash, bro. This is why I don't play this fucking game no more, bro. I right, bet. Because ain't nobody else in this part. Oh, they did it again. Oh, they sent me back to the menu. You feel me? Oh, uh, we're going we gonna to fast forward to it. You feel me? All right, you guys. Now, let, let, let me show you what I'm talking about, bro. I'm talking about controller settings, and I'm talking about your shot time and release time, right? Right now, I have it on late. I don't know why I have it on late. Like I told you, I haven't played this in a while, right? I think it's because I changed my jump shot, right? And and if you still watching, I'm gonna give you the jump shot that I'm using right now, as of right now. You feel me? That's just that's just a little reward for actually watching the video all the way through, right? No skips type shit. I use very late, you guys. This is typically my shot time. I would advise you guys to start with the the, the default, which is late. Default is on late. And try your jump shot, right? You gotta combine. Why did you just hear what I said? I said that the jump shot that I'm using right now it works better with the shot time and release of late rather than my normal very late, right? My normal very late, I have a jump shot for that, right? But being that Lamarcus Aldridge's uh, jump shot came out, I believe I changed the release. I still have it. It works better with late. You feel me? I can hit more shots on late. So understand that, you guys. Now you couple that with two other things: yeah, shot time and release and your shot meter you feel me like i don't know if there's any scientific proof out here about this shit, but when i got i'm gonna keep it on late right when i got these different meters bro like i only play with uh, a certain amount of meters you feel me what are we going to animation these meters bro i don't know what 2k was thinking especially the one below your foot why why don't we have the full circle like in 2k 16 or 2k 17 like get bring that bring that back for the next season i might play 2k for a little bit you feel me but 
Look at the animations, you guys. Gameplay. Matter of fact, let me show you the jump shot. I told you I was gonna show you how the jump shot, right? Which one do I have on? I don't know which one I have on. Let me see. Animation. Let me see which one I have on. Yeah, heard. Yeah, heard. Let me see which one I have on. Cause like I said, I did promise. Twin two. I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a new jump shot though. You feel me? Let me see. Whoa, I went back. Mm, my fault. Mm. I don't think that's the uh, updated jump shot though. That might be my old one. You feel me? Uh, jump shot creator. Let me see. Twin two. Look at all these jump shots, bro. You feel me? Ronnie, D Cuz, D Rock, like bro. All of these I've tried. You feel me? Let me go to twin two right quick. Let me see. Edit jump shot. Let me see. This is the jump shot right up. I just gave it to you guys. O'Shea Brissett, Marcus, uh, Marquise, Chris, and the Joker. You feel me? That's the release. Now let me show you the release right here, just so y'all can get it. You feel me? Cause I know a couple of dudes was asking for my jump shot release. I have it at 65 Marquise and 35 uh Joker. You feel me? Now I also have why does it back me out completely, bro? You feel me? I also have I have twin version and then I have uh twin version three. You feel me? Right? I got slower, so I don't know what uh thing that is, but three. Let me see what three is. Whoa, I'm changing it. Let me go to jump shot creator. I haven't been on this shit in a minute, G. Y'all, you feel me? Never mind that screaming, all right? Right, edit jump shot, let me see. I have, this is the same jump shot, the same jump shot base. I use O'Shea Brissett and I use the one at random, which I gave gave it to you guys in a, in a video a while ago, right? Probably about five, six videos ago. O'Shea Brissett is the base. I have LaMarcus Aldridge as my upper release. And then my upper release too, I have Marcus, uh, Marquise Chris, right? And then the release, I got it 50-50, you feel me? So both jump shots, and this is the jump shot in which I, I had equipped uh, for late, the lot, the late shot timer, you feel me? So that's the jump shot, right? But let's get into, that. we go back and back and out again, I'm backing out again, man. Horrible interface that uh, 2K has, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. Gameplay effects, right? Go over to the... Uh, the release, the release does, I mean, the perfect release doesn't matter, right? Jump shot meter, like right now, I have the Tusk, I think this is a new one, if I'm not mistaken. I have this one, this probably right here is uh, damn near one of the uh, like top three best ones that I like, that I approve of, you feel me? When the game first came out, you guys, I used the Scrape Bar, right? The Scrape Bar Mini, and it was so small, but I was able to hit it, you feel me? Because the meter goes straight up, you feel me? So understand now, once we got the Scrape Bar, the, the longer one, it seemed like my jump shot took longer to to, to release, if you will. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I meant as far as uh, the shot meter or the jump shot meter, you feel me? Now, my top three, like if you want to know, my first one would be, because I play with this a lot, you guys, uh, Comet. That would be my first one, right? That would be my first one. My second one would be the straight bar mini and or the straight bar side, right? So just the straight bar. And then third, as of right now, is the touch, the one to the side. You feel me? I really hope they bring the full circle underneath your player like the test one like look at the test one bro you feel me like that's horrible to me bro I, my, my shoes down there, there's a lot of shit going on on the ground why do i gotta look at the ground to look at the meter you feel me now yeah you go practice it and look at the meter then you ain't even gonna need the meter you feel me but that's a horrible jump shot meter uh, and i see people using it it's not my cup of tea i do hook shots and some more shit i'm supposed to look at my feet when i take a hook shot like either or uh touch side three uh two straight bar mini inside right and then uh, one, we have the funnel over. You feel me? Curve bars, not funnel over, but curve bar is pretty good too, right? But the uh, what we look at, the Comet, that's what it's called, Comet High. You feel me? That's the, my top one, that's the one I like because it works for my post fees, my uh, post hooks, and it works for my jump shots, you feel me? Like in these clips that you've been seeing, you've been seeing different uh, shot meters, you feel me? I do not like the V over, I do not like the V over, right? I do not like the arrow side, right? The arrow side is like, I guess you can get used to it, but it didn't work with none of my jump shots. You feel me? And I'm not one of those. I don't play 2K enough to turn my jump shot meter off, and I'm not going to risk it. I'm not playing on a fucking game in monitor. You know what I'm saying? I'm not playing. I didn't go spend $300, $400, $2,000, $5,000 for no fucking game. And what I look like, I have a television already. You heard? But that right there are all the shooting tips for my big man out there. You feel me? Like, I mean, let me know if it helped you guys. You feel me? Like, some of this shit y'all might already know. Some of you be like, damn, I ain't thinking about that. Yes, we playing on television a lot of us like a lot of motherfuckers that, that that's viewing me right yeah we play on television and if you playing on a hundred dollar monitor like bro you about it's about the same it's probably a little better than on a television but like bro really kid really ask one of them big screamers that like scream 2k or scream like uh tekken or, or or some shit you know or call of duty or whatever ask them how much their, their gaming monitor costs you ask them how much you feel me i guarantee you gonna be like nigga what it's a disadvantage, you feel me? So we went over 
Only take your open shots. Practice your jump shot. Use jump shot boost. Equip the correct badges that fit your play style, that fit your my player, you feel me? Know what your disadvantages are. That goes back to the monitor that I was talking about versus television, the ethernet versus wireless, the different uh, jump shot uh, from the meta, you feel me? You have a different jump shot from what everybody's using. You understand what I'm saying? And then lastly, your shot time and release and or the meter. And don't forget what I told you at the top of the video. I told you guys, if you in the shooting slump, go to the right stick. Now, if you shoot the right stick, I don't know what to tell you. You feel me? But if you shoot with X, click that right stick up right quick. Hold it and, and time your jump shot like you will you gonna knock that jump shot down. Don't don't stop shooting with the stick until you knock that first jump shot down. You get what I'm saying? And then go back to pressing X. You feel me? That's in like random rec games. You get what I'm saying? So that right there are the big man shooting tips uh, for NBA 2K23, whether you're on current gen and or next gen. You feel me? I know it's probably a, a, a long video, but I promised this video to you guys and I gave it to you. And if you've been watching throughout the whole video, you got two of my jump shots. You understand? I gave you two of my jump shots. As a matter of fact, I'm going to give you another one. I'm going to give you the one that I started with. And I still revert back to this jump shot my damn self. You feel me? This is the one I found myself. And I got a lot of uh, writing down. I, let me know if y'all want to see uh, that video. Like, I'll probably put it out in like a chop format and show you guys all the uh, good jump shots that you should be looking at. Like, as far as the, the players like the Thomas Bryans and the Devontae Kakak. So, whatever the fuck his name is. You feel me? But let me know. You feel me? But but Clint Capella, right? Let me look at the jump shot, right? My base, Clint Capella. Now, it's a little long. It's a little slow. You feel me? But I'm a spot up. Clint Capella base, Julius Randle. And I gave this to you in the video before, too. And then Paul Millsap, right? At a 75 Julius Randle and a 25% Paul Millsap, bro. I was eating with this. All those earlier clips in which you may see my player in, the, in these clips, I was using this jump shot. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's all about practice, bro. It's all about knowing what you playing on. If you playing wireless, bro, you're going to have to get used to that jump shot. And you gonna have to get, you probably got to hold the button longer. You On that, I would probably use uh, very early or some shit. If I'm, using, if I'm playing wireless, I'm probably going to use very early as far as my shot timing is concerned. I'm going to use whatever jump shot I'm going to use. I'm going to make sure I use uh, maybe a small meter so I can get to it quick. You feel me? My release is going to be quick. You get me? I use quick release. I don't use, like you see right here, the release speed. This is the release speed right here. This is very quick, if I'm not mistaken. This is normal and this is slow, right? So this is slow, this is normal, and this is quick, right? Not very quick, but quick. I use quick, you understand? That might be you guys, but if you guys are used to shooting uh, 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 normal or used to shooting slow, stick with that, bro. Fuck with all everybody talking about, bro. Stick with what you know and just practice it and then just just execute when you get online. You feel me? But like a video, um, excuse me, like the video, you guys. Share the video with your homie that may need to see this. You guys subscribe if you fucking with the content. Y'all already know I upload 2K content, WWE content, uh, reactions. Probably got two of them coming today. You feel me? Etc. You feel me? I got an interview that I want to drop. You feel me? Interview, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Had a 2K interview I need to in that I need to drop you feel me just just talking my shit you understand podcast shit etc whatever the hell I want that's what's going cooking video you feel me but till next time to be more twin you guys look man be yourself. You hear I me? Mean? When it comes to this jump shooting shit on 2K, bro, you gotta be yourself. You gotta find out who your my player is. You can't look at old boy shooting the lights out like Curry and think that's about to be you and you seven foot. With a 65 three pointer. Till next time, B Boy Twin, you guys. Look, man, be yourself or be everybody else. And I'm out. Peace. Mm -hmm.